Hello gentlemen, here is a sample problem on balancing redox equations in a basic solution. The overall structure is generally very similar to a balancing an acidic solution, but there are some slight differences. So here's our overall reaction. Here. Here is our first half reaction, CN minus, producing CNO minus, and here's our second half reaction, MnO4 minus, producing MnO2. Now the first step is to balance all non-hydrogen and oxygens, which are already balanced here. That's great, so we balance our oxygens now by adding waters. So I have one more oxygen on this side, my product side, so I add a water to my reactants. And now with that, I have two hydrogens in my reactant side, so I add two H pluses to my product side to balance out my hydrogens and my oxygens. So that's what happened in that step. Now, in our next step, we want to balance the charge. Here I have two positives, one negative, and one negative in my reactant side there. So I need to add two electrons to my product side to match the one minus charge there. Because the two minus here and the two plus cancel each other out, leaving just behind a one minus charge and a one minus charge. So we are balanced in this half reaction. Now, <clears throat> after my half reaction, after I've balanced the charge, now something different happens when we're talking about basic solutions. So up until this point, things have been pretty much the same as acidic solution. But after this point, we have to add OH minus ions to balance out or neutralize these H plus ions that we added um, previously in the, the second step. So what you, what you do to one side, you do to both sides. That's why I have 2OH minus added to both sides. Since I have 2H plus here, I need to add 2OH minus. And I do it to this side, so I'll also do it to my reactants as well. And what you get from that, if you look closely, is you have 2OH minus plus 2H pluses. If we put that together, those make water. So you have two molecules of water, and you still have two electrons and the CNO minus. Your reactant side stays the same. Nothing changes. Nothing cancels out. Nothing neutralizes. Now, in the last step of this half reaction, we have to take into account that we have water present on this side, and we have water present on that side of the reaction. So the water molecules are going to cancel. Well, uh, one of them will in this case. So the H2O on this side cancels out with one of the H2Os on that side, leaving you with just one water molecule in your products. So below, we have our first half reaction. Now we go to our half reaction. So we start out with MnO4 minus going to MnO2. Now we balance our oxygens, and we do we balance our hydrogens. Um, <clears throat> since we have four oxygens on this side, and two on that side, we need two water molecules added to our products. Because we added two water molecules, we have to add four H pluses to our reactants. And now we want to balance the charge. On this side, we have one minus plus four positive charges. And on the right side, we don't have any charge at all. So four plus plus one minus gives you a three plus charge on your reactant side. We have to add three electrons to get that down to a zero charge like we have on this side. And now, here's the difference of balancing in a basic solution. We have to add OH minus ions in order to balance out our H plus ions. So we have four H plus ions, so we had to add four OH minus ions to both sides. And as you can, as we did prior in the prior uh, half reaction, these four OH minus and four H plus ions create four water molecules. Everything else remained the same. Now we have to see if we have water present on both sides of the reaction and we know we do. So the two water molecules here cancel with two of these water molecules leaving behind two. And this is your second half reaction here. Now we want to put these two together and add them what to cancels essentially. Before we do the ultimate addition, we have to balance charge completely. So we have to look at both half reactions. 
one here and here, and get our electron counts to be the same. So our electron counts, we have two in our first reaction, three in our second half reaction. So we multiply them by <clears throat> the top one by three, the bottom one by two to get to the common factor of six. So we do that here. These threes and these twos distribute in to each quantity, and we end up with this half reaction and this half reaction. So 6OH minus plus 3CN minus going to 3CNO minus plus 6 electrons plus 3H2O. That's your first half reaction. My second half reaction, 4H2O plus 6 electrons plus 2MNO4 minus going to 2MNO2 plus 8 hydroxide ions. Now our electrons cancel and we add these two together. When we add these two together, um, the quantities or substances that are present on both sides of the reaction will um, cancel and subtract from one another. So we have six hydroxide ions over here and then eight. So six here and eight on this side. So the six hydroxides cancel out, leaving you with simply two hydroxides. Looking at your waters, I have four H2O atoms or H2O molecules here and three H2Os here. Your threes cancel, leaving you with simply one H2O. After that, everything else can just be simply added, all your reactants added together, and we have 3CN minus plus the one H2O plus 2MNO4 minus plus 3CNO minus plus 2MNO2 and 2OH. That should say minus. There should be no G there. That is a misprint. Children, hopefully this helps. Please take notes on this example problem and come prepared tomorrow to not only practice this stuff, but possibly have a quick check.